the man who illegally fathered 200 children. Yom Kerbat was a con man who made people happy. In fact, most of them still have no idea they were con. Kerbat gave them hope and made their dreams come true. Most of them have never even heard of him. When he died in 2017, few people took notice. Yet Dr. Yom Kerbat managed to set a unique record. Nobody knew about it. That made sense since it was illegal. The record Yom Kerbat may have as many as 200 living children. There was no sex involved. Intrigued. Let's unravel this astonishing story. Yon Kerbat was a reputable fertility doctor. He started out in hospitals, then opened his own clinic. Kerbat lived and worked near Rotterdam, Netherlands. The only controversy had to do with his progressive views. Kerbat was always willing to work with same-sex couples and single women. Even in the Netherlands, this raised some eyebrows in the 1980s. But Kerbat was a pioneer in the field of artificial insemination. His expertise made him untouchable. In those days, IVF in the Netherlands was barely regulated. The procedures often took place in backrooms. Seeking help for infertility issues was considered embarrassing. So it's no surprise many women never mentioned the treatment. Dr. Kerbat helped hundreds of single women to have children. His fertility career lasted almost 30 years. From 1980 to 2009, everything began unraveling. In 2011, Esther Louise Hay was Kerbat's patient. He helped her have two kids. In 1994 and 1995, Hay had no qualms about using sperm from an anonymous donor. But what if her kids wanted to find out who their biological dad was? Kerbat promised her it would be no problem. He assured her the sperm for both children came from the same donor. When Jonathan Hay was 16, he said he wanted to know. So his mom asked Dr. Kerbat, but the retired doctor refused to answer any questions. Jonathan's letters to him were returned unopened. At the time, rumors were already swirling in Dutch media. Kerbat was suspected of using another doctor's sperm in his practice. There were even worse suspicions that he'd used his own. This is both unethical and illegal. Multiple women appealed to the courts. Dr. Jan Kerbat remained unperturbed. He died peacefully in 2017, aged 89. That year, courts granted 22 families the right to have his DNA tested. Samples were gathered from his personal effects, but the genetic profile remained sealed. It was matched to 19 children born at his clinic. This convinced the courts to unseal the DNA profile for testing. By 2019, 49 Kerbat children were identified through DNA testing. By 2021, the number had grown to 90. Some estimate there could be as many as 200. Kerbat routinely swapped his patient's husband's sperm with his own. A definitive answer may never be found. Some children were never informed. They were born via sperm donor. Nobody knows why Dr. Jan Kerbat did it, but his many children are now coming to terms with it. Jonathan Hay says he wants to become a sperm donor. His Kerbat sibling, Joey Hoftman, has chosen the opposite. He wants to remain childless, to break the chain. I feel like I'm the result of human mass production, something like a clone. The children's mothers are traumatized and disgusted. The mere thought of it, I felt dirty, so dirty, says one former patient of Dr. Kerbat's. The doctor certainly left a lasting legacy.